morning guys it's Chris here uh, it's actually afternoon now uh, it's not raining today it rained yesterday um, got a toilet install to do went and picked the toilet up for the customer at Home Depot just a minute ago so I'm heading down to uh, do the toilet install I've got my eye protection on as always guys you know we got to keep that eye protection on right we got to keep these eyes protected I don't know why but my right eye was hurting today it's kind of weird Hope everything's all right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, got some cool stuff coming up for you guys. Uh, I'm going to start a subreddit as soon as my account's old enough because, I mean, I thought Reddit was meant for, like, posting videos. You know, I, I, I wasn't posting plumbing videos in anywhere but, like, plumbing trade places. And, like, everybody's complaining. Everybody's telling me that, like, I'm being disrespectful and shit. So, I, I didn't know I was even doing anything wrong. So, uh, I'm going to start posting my videos only on YouTube and then maybe on, like, my subreddit when I get one. Or on, uh, like, a subreddit that, like, says it's okay or something. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, I'm not going to be going to subre to Reddit anymore, guys, for that reason. Uh, I'm not trying to make anybody mad or feel like I'm trying to, you know, hijack their channel or anything. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do this toilet install and um, I'll bring you guys with me and show you what's up. It's a Kohler toilet. And, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I sped this video up for the sake of time. Um, here I am. I take my shop vac out. I use this little, like, two-gallon or two and a half gallon shop vac uh when i'm vacuuming out toilets that way i don't tra track water all over the house anytime you pull a toilet there's always going to be water in the trap if you don't vacuum it out so um right when you pull that toilet water is just going to dump out of the bottom um yeah it's just not a good thing and this lady had this blue uh she was using that blue toilet bowl cleaner water um that blue uh highly chlorinated you know little tablets that you put in the toilet tank to keep your toilet clean she was using that so you know you don't want to drip that all over the place so i shot back that out um always shot back it out then i grab my little uh scraping tool and i break the caulk seal at the bottom i have no idea why anybody would caulk seal a toilet to a wooden floor but uh anyways the reason you wouldn't want to caulk seal a toilet to a wooden floor guys is because when ever removing that toilet as you can see now there's a toilet there's a line i mean especially if you use like real adhesive caulk like this guy did and i had to like really clean it up thankfully i was able to pretty much clean up the old footprint and the new footprint wasn't going to be much bigger but yeah it's a nightmare guys so here i am when the when i pulled the old toilet because there are roots growing around the flange uh i had to put a new flange in so there i am with my sawzall i sawzalled out the old ring and then uh i'm preparing to set my new flange in right now glue my new flange in right now all right guys so here i am i'm gonna show you real quick how uh the roots actually grew up in and separated the closet flange from the drain line on this toilet when i pulled the toilet the flange just came right up with it and uh that's the problem there's no concrete around this flange to mount to so it's just held in by its glue um, I poured some salt around the drain line there before I glued in the new flange um, just to try and help keep the roots from growing back so quickly. And you can also use copper sulfate to help the roots from growing back. Um, when cleaning a wood floor, you want to make sure you don't use anything real harsh. Uh, I'm just using glass cleaner here. Um, the glass cleaner will be fine on this wood floor. Another thing is you don't want to caulk a wood floor, uh, a toilet to a wood floor, guys. That's why we're having this problem here. This would have been such a quicker, more simple install if I didn't have the guy who installed it before me caulk it to the wood floor. Um, if a customer insists, of course, I'll caulk it to the wood floor. But come on, guys. If that toilet ever leaks from the base, it's going to warp that wood floor before you ever know. On top of that, if you ever have to remove that toilet, look, look at all the cleaning you have to do and just hope that I didn't, you know, gouge the toilet when I had to break the caulk seal or grab, gouge the uh, floor when I had to break the caulk seal, you know, depending on what, what kind of caulk seal the guy used. So anyways, here we go, guys. We're going to install the Kohler Cimarron, the two-piece Kohler Cimarron here. And one thing I like about the Kohler Cimarron, guys, is it's a piece of cake to install. Check this out. Kohler really outdid themselves on this one here guys they actually revolutionized the two-piece toilet here they put a 
really cool bracket style mounting system instead of the normal two bolts that come through the tank that need a you know gasket and washer to mount them um they even you know in my opinion uh outdid toto on this one check this out this mounting system here is awesome guys you just stick the tank to bowl bolts in these little slots similar to like a closet flange except these slots keep those bolts those bolts have little squares on them down there down at the bottom where they stick in and it keeps them from turning so now you just take that tank set after you set the uh the tank to bowl gasket on the flush valve which is the only thing that can leak now by the way guys the only thing that can give you a tank to bowl leak on a kohler cimron is that tank to bowl gasket there so now you just take that tank you set it on top of the bowl you get your nut and your washer, you, you hand tighten it, guys. You want to just hand tighten it to be in. Um, get it nice and hand tight. And then slowly on each side, tighten it down until you see that metal bracket sitting flush on every side of the toilet. Once you've got that metal bracket sitting flush on every side of the toilet, you wiggle the toilet and there's no play. It sits firm. You're good. If you wiggle it and there's a little bit of play, give it half a turn. Wiggle it again. Give it half a turn on each side. Wiggle it again. Take a look at the gap. Make sure the gap is level and even. Um, once the tank is firm on top of the bowl, there, the gap is even, you're good. You have assembled the Kohler Cimarron toilet. Congratulations. So now, guys, we're going to set the toilet. I use two wax rings on every toilet I set now, guys. I don't play around at all. And when I put my bolts on my closet flange, I use a nut and a washer to bolt them down to the closet flange. I don't use that plastic shit. I don't just let, hang them in there. I use a nut and a washer. I fasten them down. So now they're sitting there sturdy. And I don't have to worry about them moving when I come to do my install. And you know what, guys? The next guy will appreciate it. So I use two wax rings, one with flange and one without. I put my, flat, my wax rings without flange first and then my wax rings with the flange on top. And uh, I use a Fluid Master wax ring. Uh, I'll put a link in description. When you set the toilet, you wanna make sure you feel this squish. You're gonna wanna feel it. Uh, anytime you set a toilet on a second story, you're always gonna wanna use two wax rings, guys. If you're going on a first story and the flange is above the floor, use only one wax ring. You can get away with it. You're fine. If it's level with the floor, use one wax ring. You can get away with it. You're fine. But guess what? If anything happens, that wax ring is going to leak. And then the first person they're going to blame is you. So why not just use an extra wax ring? It's $3. It's like $3.50. Use an extra wax ring. Charge the customer for it if you have to. Or, you know, if you're the homeowner, do not cheat yourself, guys. This is the Kohler two inch cylinder style flush valve and the Pro 45 style fill valve. They're awesome. Bulletproof valves, uh, except for the flush valve. I don't like the little uh, rubber gasket that they use. I think Toto definitely has a thicker, nicer rubber gasket on their new Toto Drakes. But you know, they're decent. The, the gasket in our current water is only gonna last you a year to two years in Southern California. Uh, you're going to have to change that flapper constantly. But, you know, if you've got a water softener or a water conditioner or a whole house filter or, you know, you live in a less harsh water climate, that gasket could last you a lot longer. I don't know. I'm here cutting down the closet bolts so that I can put my hey bolt guys, caps on. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you could give it a thumbs up, uh, like, leave a like, you know, a comment. And, you know, subscribe, please. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Really do. I got a lot more content coming down the pipe here. Uh, no pun intended there, guys. Um, I got a how to solder video coming, coming real soon. Um, a whole breakdown on toilets from which toilet brands to trust, which toilet brands to stay away from, and uh, how to diagnose and repair your toilets, how to assemble your toilets and install them. Um, I got the same deal going on for faucets and shower valves, you know, a whole breakdown. It's going to be a whole video series. So keep checking back, guys. A lot more content coming your way. Uh, really appreciate it. Again, guys, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video. Uh, I'm, I am out.